the University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles, with the support of the following corporate and media sponsors, Parolon, Sonia Delen, Sklar Kirsch LLP, Philippine Airlines, Philippine Post, Asian Journal, TVUP, the University of the Philippines Internet Television Network, and TFC, the Filipino Channel, present, explore, empower, excel. The 2021 University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles Alumni Awards Night. Let's welcome our host, Ivy Tadeo Guevara. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my privilege to welcome all of you to the first Alumni Awards Night of the University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles. Tonight, we will honor four accomplished UP alumni who have not only made a mark in their chosen careers, but at the same time, have made an impact in their community. We in Yopagla hope that this awards program will bring some positivity, especially during this pandemic time, and at the same time, inspire all of us to make a difference in our community and our beloved university. Tonight, we will be joined by award-winning performers and distinguished guest speakers, all of whom are proud UP alumni. So ladies and gentlemen, let the celebration begin. The University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles, or UPAGLA, was chartered and recognized as a chapter of the main UP Alumni Association in the Philippines in 1999. UPAGLA's principal mission is to link, build, network, and sustain lifelong relationships among alumni from different colleges and organizations in the various UP campuses, particularly those residing in the greater Los Angeles area, from Kern County to Orange County. With only a few members on its onset, UPAGLA has grown its current membership to over 200 alumni. Through the years, UPAGLA has engaged its members through various social, educational, and civic activities. With a vision to enlighten fellow alumni to share their resources, talents, and efforts, UPAGLA has been continuously providing a means for UP alumni to give back to their alma mater. UPAGLA has established a professorial chair, responded to various emergency relief efforts, awarded a five-year scholarship, funded a senior thesis grant program for five consecutive years, and donated to the UP Diliman Main Library Laptop Program. In 2019, UPAGLA has built a robust endowment fund. In just over a year and in the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, UPAGLA has donated over 1.8 million pesos to UP. As alumni of their UP beloved, everything that UPAGLA do is for their alma mater dear. Far though they wander, over island yonder, loyal sons they'll ever be, loyal sons they'll ever be. Good evening from Los Angeles, California. 
I am Ethel Rubio, the president of the University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles. I am so excited and very grateful to finally roll out the culminating activity of the UPAGLA Awards Program. Since its inception in 2017, the awards program was formally established in 2019 to increase the profile of Filipino Americans in our very large Greater Los Angeles community who are UP alumni. Our goal is to be able to highlight UP alumni who are making a difference in our community who are mostly under the radar so they may inspire others. When we kicked off the awards program at the beginning of 2020, we did not expect how the pandemic would affect all of us, but we roll with a punch and just like how any UP alumnus would do, we make things happen for no matter what. We set up our timeline and launch our call for nomination in summer of 2020 in hopes that by October, we would have been able to get together for an in-person awards ceremony. But alas, we did not expect that the pandemic would keep us all home through the rest of the year. So we opted to postpone the awards presentation and extended the call for nomination indefinitely. At the beginning of 2021, the UPAGLA board agreed to move forward with a virtual awards presentation as a capstone project to end our record-breaking term on a very high note. We finally made the decision to set our deadline by mid-February of this year and scheduled our jury deliberation by the end of the month. The nominees were carefully vetted and deliberated by a nine jury panel based on a scorecard rubric per category. The nominees who received the highest scores were selected as the awardee for that category. The final awardees were then certified by the board before we sent out the great news. The nine jury panel were very impressed in the caliber of nomination submissions of the incredible UP alums, some of whom we would never have known. So on behalf of the selection committee and the jurors, I would like to extend our heartfelt thanks and congratulations to all of the nominees. This Alumni Awards Night is also about promoting the spirit of giving back to our alma mater. In conjunction to planning this wonderful virtual presentation, we have lovingly put together a digital commemorative book that will forever remind us of this special and memorable event. We continue to raise funds for the UP Kaagapay sa Pag-aaral campaign that was launched by UP President Danilo Concepcion in July 2020. Therefore, the net proceeds from our digital commemorative book and event sponsorship will be donated to fund more laptops and internet connectivity for our financially challenged scholar ng bayan. Thank you to all our generous sponsors and donors, including our families, friends, colleagues, and fellow UP alumni all over America. We feel your love. As I end my term as the UPAGLA president in June 30, 2021, I would like to acknowledge and extend my deepest gratitude to my green team, the UPAGLA 2019-2021 Board of Directors. Through our collective efforts, we were able to do incredible things. You are all amazing. Finally, a big thank you to the fantastic team who made the awards program possible, the awards program committee, sponsorship committee, the selection committee, and our wonderful jurors. I am so inspired by all of your selfless giving, of your amazing talents, your positive energy, and valuable time. I would also like to extend special gratitude to the TVUP team through Dr. Elena Purnia, Dr. Grace Alfonso, and Professor Rika Abad. With that being said, I am so thrilled to kick off the awards night by presenting our very first UPAGLA Presidential Awards. It is my privilege and honor that I present to you the 2021 UPAGLA Presidential Awardees. Virgilio Ginto, our UPAGLA treasurer from 2011 to 2021. Alma H. Andrubia, our UPAGLA past president and board member of the Friends of UP Foundation in America. Congratulations to all our deserving awardees. Thank you to all our distinguished guests. Enjoy the rest of the virtual presentation. Thank you, Ethel.
Now, to extend their well wishes, we have three exceptional UP alumni who were recently bestowed honorary membership to UPAGLA. Presenting the former Philippine Consul General of Los Angeles and current Assistant Secretary at the Department of Foreign Affairs, and the recently conferred UP Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa and his wife and recipient of the British Women's Council Parliament Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Adelio Angelito Cruz and Ambassador and Mrs. Edgardo and Lydia Espiritu, whose special message will be read by Philippine Airlines President Gilbert Santa Maria. This is Adele Cruz, former Consul General of the Philippine Consulate General in Los Angeles and currently the Assistant Secretary for the Office of Civilian Security at the Department of Foreign Affairs in Manila. As a recently chosen honorary member of the University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles, it is truly an honor for me to be here with you all tonight. I would like to extend my profound gratitude to Ms. Ethel Rubio, the Board of Directors and members of UPAGLA for all the support that you have extended to me and the entire consulate during my four and a half year stay in Los Angeles. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng tulong na ibinigay ninyo sa amin. And for tonight's awardees, please accept my warmest congratulations. You have truly made us proud not just the University of the Philippines, but the entire Filipino nation. I wish you all continued good health, and I look forward to welcoming each and every one of you when you visit Manila very soon. Maraming salamat po ulit. Mabuhay po kayo lahat. Greetings from Ambassador Edgardo Espiritu and Mrs. Lydia Espiritu. Warmest regards to all members of the UP Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles as you honor and recognize our deserving UP alumni on your first virtual awards night. As we celebrate UPAGLA, we celebrate all UP chapters all over the world. We have a shared mission and our most important resource in accomplishing this mission are our human resources, inclusive of the skills, talents, and time of our faculty, administrators, and researchers. We credit our chapter members worldwide for projects that further develop and meet goals of the University of the Philippines. We share many fond memories of our time in UP, like the Carillion Tower playing music that resonated throughout the grounds, the free jeepney rides around campus, and moving to a complete chapel of holy sacrifice from a small Nipahat chapel. Projects like Ang Bahay ng Alumni, Medical Reachouts, and the Musical Carillion all these are symbols of love and duty to enrich our beloved alma mater. Thank you for making us a part of your celebration. We feel honored and privileged. We look forward to the successes and realization of your worthwhile projects and goals to make our alma mater the institution we can always be proud of. Signed, Edgardo and Lydia Espiritu. Good evening. Our first award for tonight is the Service Recognition Award. The Service Recognition Award is bestowed to an alumna or alumnus who has devoted himself or herself to community service and volunteerism with exceptional dedication that impacts the community at large. To immigrate to the United States and pursue a passion in Philippine studies and literature is something that to many may not be easy. But for this UP alumna, tucked with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Broadcast Communication and a Master of Arts and Doctorate degrees in Philippine Studies, this was something she was able to do successfully. From her humble beginnings in Manila, where her parents invested in the education of their 12 children more than anything, she has been a lecturer and professor of Filipino language arts and culture in various Southern California universities for over 20 years and has also done volunteer work as a Tagalog interpreter, speaker, and examiner. Besides Philippine studies, everything else that she has learned from UP, love of country, tradition of excellence, perseverance, 
and resilience is what she's been imparting to her students here in the U.S. Currently, she's a lecturer at the University of California, Los Angeles, ranked one of USA's best public universities. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 UPAGLA Service Recognition Award recipient is Nenita Pambid Domingo. Magandang gabi po. Ako po si Tita Pambid. Uh, kilala din na Nenita Pambid Domingo. Batch 72 po ako. Um, AB 77, MA 89 at PhD 96. Una sa lahat, nais kong pasalamatan ang poong may kapal at binigyan ako ng buhay at mga pagkakataon upang maging kapaki-pakinabang. Maraming salamat sa University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles at sa mga Board of Directors sa pagkakaloob ng UPAA GLA 2021 Service Recognition Award. Sa mga estudyante ng mga klase ng kalinangan at wikang Filipino, sa mga kapwa naglilingkod sa komunidad sa Los Angeles, sa aking pamilya, at sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, kung saan ako natutong maglingkod sa bayan. Serve the people. Tunay ngang isang karangalang maipagmamalaki ang mabigyan ng ganitong pagkilala, lalo na ginagawa ko lamang ang marahil ay siyang layunin ko sa pagkasilang sa mundong ito. Ang maglingkod sa pamamagitan ng pagbubukas sa mga isipan ng sino mang handang tumanggap ng pagtataguyod ng wika at kalinangang Filipino at makatulong sa mga mag-aaral na mapagsino ang kanilang sarili at pagkakakilanlan upang sa kapanahonan naman nila ay siyang magiging mga pinuno at liwanag na tatanglaw at magiging gabay at suhay ng mga tagapaglingkod ng pamayanan. 21 years later and over 2,000 students taught, I have witnessed students flourish and flower. Some are now community organizers and leaders, movers, doctors, nurses, journalists, lawyers, professors, researchers, engineers. I feel incredibly blessed, honored, and privileged to be doing the kind of work that I do in helping shape the bright minds and lives of the cream of our youth. And in doing this work, I would like to pass on the legacy of service to the people, to our youth, and to continue to pass on the tools to know thyself, to awaken the potential of each and every one, and to discover your unique talents and strengths which you can use to serve the people. Maraming maraming pong salamat muli at mabuhay tayong lahat. Congratulations to our Service Award recipient, Nenita Domingo. Now, I want to introduce our first guest performer and past board member and pride of Yupagla. Presenting the musical director and conductor of the Filipino American Symphony Orchestra, the first Filipino orchestra outside the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, Maestro Robert Schroeder. Magandang araw at magandang buhay po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Bob Schroeder, ang conductor at music director of the Filipino American Symphony Orchestra dito po sa Los Angeles, California. Binabati ko po at nagpupugay sa pamunuan ng University of the Philippines Alumni Association Greater Los Angeles Area or UPAGLA sa ating pong Pangulo, si Ethel Rubio at sa lahat po ng mga awardees sa event na ito. Binabati ko po kayong lahat. Meron po akong konting handog na sana ay magustuhan nyo. Ito po ay uh, sinulat ng aking kaibigan na si Jose Marichan. Can we just stop and talk a while? Sana po ay magustuhan ninyo. Enjoy. Maraming salamat po.
Our second award is the Leadership Recognition Award. This award is bestowed on an alumnus or alumna who, with honor and excellence, has distinguished herself or himself as leader in the community and or his or her chosen profession. She possessed the characteristic of a great leader at a young age when she opted not to follow in her father's footsteps as a certified public accountant and take over the family's accounting business. Committed to taking the lead in her own life, she chose a course far from accounting, the only one that offered just six units of math, Bachelor of Science in Foreign Service. The second of six siblings who hailed from Davao, she was the only one who went to UP Diliman where the majority graduated from the same university as their parents. She considers her UP education and UP experience priceless. It was in living independently in campus dormitories, joining out-of-campus rallies while tackling community and world issues that got her very much ready for life ahead and made her who she is today. Upon migrating to the United States in 1971, she started a successful business management firm which she sold upon her retirement in 2013. A past Rotary Club district governor, she is instrumental in the forming of the Rotary Club of Little Tokyo and the Rotary Club of Historic Filipino Town. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 Leadership Recognition Award recipient is Ms. Elsa Mateo Gilham. Good evening. It is indeed an honor to be chosen as a recipient of the University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles 2021 Leadership Recognition Award. Thank you to the Board of Directors for this acknowledgement. I am humbled to be among the alumni recipients chosen to be recognized for their accomplishments as movers and shakers in the Greater Los Angeles area. Warren Bennis said, and I quote, the most dangerous leadership myth is that leaders are born, that there is a genetic factor to leadership. That's nonsense. In fact, the opposite is true. Leaders are made rather than born, end of quote. Leaders are made, they are not born. The University of the Philippines is proof from the beginning to date of this by producing hundreds of thousands of leaders who have made a difference in their fields and has made this world a better place. I am fortunate to have learned most, if not all, of my leadership skills from our alma mater and am intent in training future leaders as well through my involvement in Rotary International. Again, I am honored and humbled to receive the University of the Philippines Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles 2021 Leadership Recognition Award. Maraming salamat po. We are so thrilled and privileged to have our keynote speaker for this special evening. It is with great honor that I introduce the Philippine Vice President, Lenny Robredo. Good afternoon to all my fellow ISCOs and ISCAS in Southern California. I hope we are all safe and well. Congratulations to all of this year's awardees. Physically distanced man ang celebration ninyo ngayon. This does not diminish your fellowship, your love for one another, and the significance of today's event. The pandemic has truly changed the way we live. Divisions between work and home life have blurred. Schooling was forced to make the sudden shift to blended learning. 
and even our public spaces have been limited as a way to help keep our community safe. Times like this create uncertainty and fear, which can cause many to retreat into bubbles of self-interest. But as we have seen over the past year, and as we continue to see today, solidarity and empathy pave our way forward. The key to reclaiming our lives and creating a better normal lies in reaching out towards one another, extending our hand to the most vulnerable, and creating stronger, more inclusive communities. It is clear, there is no way through this crisis but together. We at the Office of the Vice President are very fortunate to see the spirit of Bayanihan in action every day. Generous partners from the private sector selfless artists and talents from the creatives industry, dedicated volunteers, all answer the call to service in their own way. Cases continue to rise here at home, yet despite the fear and risk, Filipinos courageously respond to the worst of times with the best in themselves. The same spirit lives on in you and in the values of the UP Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles. California is one of the most popular destinations for Filipinos who dream of a better life for themselves and their loved ones. For years, your organization has created a community that provides a sense of home to UP alumni who wish to build a new life in America. Your work strengthens the long-standing friendship between the Philippines and the United States. I still remember visiting you in September of 2019 where we spoke about sharing best practices, particularly in anti-poverty programs. Since then, marami na ang nangyari. Thank you for contributing funds, which helped provide PPE sets for the frontliners in PGH. Through this and many more efforts, you bring the ideals of honor and excellence to life. So I encourage you to keep doing what you are doing. Sige lang, tuloy lang. Our task now is to find more of us to do the work, more opportunities to link up, collaborate, and intensify our efforts. Continue to find gaps in our society and fill them, then inspire others to do the same. As you come together today, strengthen your bonds of fellowship and reaffirm the values that drove you to found your organization. We mark history to celebrate achievement learn from failure, and chart the path to success. More importantly, history should serve as a recognition of our shared humanity and sustain our passion to build a kinder, more compassionate world where no one is left behind. Padayon, UP! Congratulations! Mabuhay kayong lahat! Thank you very much, Vice President Lenny Robredo. It is truly an honor to have you with us tonight. Now for our final performer, I am so delighted to present a very special song number from no less than the maestro and national artist for music himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Kayabyab and the Ryan Kayabyab singers. Magandang araw po si Ryan Kayabyab po. Buwabati sa inyo na malugod sa paggalon ninyo dito sa napaka-importanting event. At uh, nais kong uh, batiin lahat ng awardees nitong uh, UPAAGLA Awards. At nais ko rin magpasalamat kay Ms. Uh, Kevin Biniani Roque Nipmuseno sa pag sa amin. Pero po kami inihandang awitin sa inyo. Nilikha ko po. At inawit po ng Ryan Kayabyab Singer, so ko kayong pipikit dahil baka hindi nyo makita yung aking munting participation. Magandang araw and congratulations everybody! Ayo may wa 
magkaklas Sabay nating sugurin ang ating inaharap Ipunin natin ang lakas Sabay-sabay ang kas-angkas Masusupo, malulutas, may mabuting magaganap Pagkat lahat ng laban mo Aakuing laban ko Sumpa ko ay hindi ka iiwan Kapit lahat Hindi ka na mag-isa Kapit lahat Huwag ka nang mag-alala Iaangat Bubuhatin ka Sakaling may suwag Sabay natin sugurin ang ating hinaharap. Ipundi natin ang lakas, sabay-sabay, angkas-angkas. Masusog po, malulutas, may mabuting magaganap. Pagkat lahat ng laban mo, ahuhin kong laban ko. Laban ko. Sumpa ko ay hindi ka iiwan. Huwag mawawalan ng pag-asa, ipaglalaban ka tuwila. Bayan, naibigan, sasagipin kita. Award is the most distinguished alumnus award. The most distinguished alumnus award is bestowed upon an alumnus for his exceptional achievement, outstanding contribution that brings substantial benefit to the community and at the same time bring a distinct honor to the University of the Philippines.
He was not admitted to his first choice of degree program in UP, physical therapy, but was accepted in his random second choice, nursing. Currently, he's a nurse specialist and a nurse scientist. He was not the smartest kid in class who considered school as a chore. At present, he is assistant professor of neurosciences and neurotherapeutics and director of the Center for Quality and Outcomes and Research. He never thought of coming to the United States. Today, he is assistant chief nurse and flight commander in the United States Air Force. And the boy who once thought of becoming a priest for years has been an active community volunteer supporting various causes from cancer awareness to homelessness. At 43 years old, this distinguished UP alumnus who holds a doctorate degree in various licenses and certification in nursing says his UP education prepared him to use his voice to be an advocate, to be a leader, and to be of service to others. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the 2021 UP Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles, the most distinguished alumnus recipient, Marlon Garso Saria. Isang maalab na pagbati sa inyong lahat. Did you know that the original lyrics of our university hymn was in English? The original lyrics, UP Beloved, was taken from a poem by Teohenes Velas, a liberal arts student. The translation to Filipino was a composite from seven entries in a contest held by the university. The judges did not find any of the seven translations fully satisfactory. While well, that was interesting enough, more interesting for me is that the poem was penned in 1917. And while it has been over a hundred years since it was written, the message rings ever true. Far though we wander, o'er island yonder, loyal thy sons will ever be. Malayong lupain, amin mang marating, dirin magbabago, Ang damdamin. Thank you. Thank you, University of the Philippines Alumni Association, Greater Los Angeles, for establishing the Alumni Awards Program. While the awards honor individuals, recognizing the work of the scholars ng bayan, mga isko at iska, highlights the contributions of our UP beloved to the world. Padayon UP. Maraming salamat po. Before we present our final award, we are so honored to have another very special person with us tonight. Fellow UB alumni and guests, the 21st and current president of the University of the Philippines, Professor Danilo L. Concepcion. Isang mainit na pagbati po sa mga giliw nating alumni sa Greater Los Angeles, sa California, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga pararangalan ngayong gabi. Muli, tinatawid natin ang lawak ng ating pagkakawalay gamit ang tulay ng teknolohiya. Ikinagagalak ko ang inyong paanyaya sa akin na makibahagi sa pinakahihintay na okasyong ito na siyang magsasara sa dalawang taong paglilingkod ninyo sa kapwa alumni, sa pamantasan, at sa bayan. This evening is more meaningful when you consider what you have all struggled with and triumphed over this past year. The members and officers of the UP alumni in Greater Los Angeles have shown true resilience, resourcefulness, and courage in maintaining 
and even in racing, the dynamism of your association as our daily lives and interactions have all moved online. I also congratulate you on the many ways you have shown your love for UP bilang mga scholar ng bayan. Despite the challenges you face amid this global pandemic, you were quick to respond to the call of our students for help, especially those students who come from low-income families and all those who struggle to meet the technological demands of remote learning. All of these problems are on top of recovering from the series of natural disasters that occurred in the country last year. You were able to accomplish this feat through your wholehearted support for the UP's Kaagapay sa Pag-aaral ng Scholar ng Bayan, a resource generation campaign. If I may give a quick update, as of today, Kaagapay has received a total of 10 million pesos. This amount includes your donation of $12,501. Of this amount, Kaagapay has disbursed some 5 million pesos as computer and gadget grants to 241 students in the different UP campuses from Baguio to Mindanao. And as I speak, Kaagapay is processing grants for an additional 130 students amounting to 2.6 million pesos. Each qualified student grantee receives 20,400 pesos, which can be used for their purchase of desktop computers, laptops, or gadget upgrades, and uh, internet uh, connectivity. The Kaagapay fundraising campaign continues as we intensify our efforts to provide for the needs of our financially challenged students. UP is grateful for your generosity in supporting this campaign. It gladdens me to see these acts of service and compassion from the UP community, especially from you, our beloved alumni. Indeed, during the darkest times, that attack UP shines the brightest. UP is also taking the lead in the country's battle against COVID-19 because UP has the best and the bravest doctors and health workers in the country. Isinusugal po nila ang kanilang buhay para sa kaligtasan ng ating mga mamamayan. With your unwavering support, we shall lead to win this battle. The Philippine Genome Center monitors the movements, progress, and development of the COVID-19 outbreak in the Philippines through gene sequencing and testing. The PGC discovered in very short time the presence of the coronavirus variants in the country. Through the efforts of the UP community, we contribute directly to the worldwide research efforts to defeat the novel coronavirus by creating and improving test kits and developing appropriate treatment protocols for COVID-19 patients. It was also a UP researcher, Dr. Raul V. Destura, who developed the proudly Philippine-made Gen Amplify COVID-10 RPT-PCR detection kit. On the other hand, the Philippine General Hospital is serving as the leading country's COVID-19 referral center. Our molecular biology laboratories in the different UP campuses are serving as primary testing centers in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And they also serve as training centers for medical technicians on performing the biomolecular analysis for the detection of the virus. We have dedicated several buildings in our campuses as isolation wards where COVID patients can be quarantined, especially when overcrowding becomes an issue in health centers and communities. Our experts from multiple disciplines and our alumni working in various fields and professions 
serve as resource persons, consultants, and policymakers for our local and national governments in crafting appropriate pandemic policies and protocols. Our epidemiologists, microbiologists, and molecular biologists, our economists, mathematicians, statisticians, and computer and data scientists, our doctors, specialists, and public health experts are experts in governance, psychology, and mental health, social work, community development, and disaster response. All members of our community of scholars are working in unison to help our people better understand and respond to the pandemic and improve their lives in the face of unprecedented challenges. Thank you for your unwavering faith in them. And thank you for your steadfast support for our students the future generation of scientists, artists, professionals, advocates, and leaders. While the need to support their education through UP will not end with the pandemic, for now we are focused in carrying on with the formidable task of shifting to remote and online teaching and learning. And I am proud to say that our executive team has risen to this challenge. We conducted recently an assessment of the online capacities of our students and faculty to check where improvement is needed. We recalibrated our strategies to make our moving forward into the pandemic more effective and responsive with the guidance from the UP Open University, which has served as the country's premier institution for distance and open education long before the pandemic. When the current academic year began, we made necessary upgrades and improvements in our system. We enhanced our capabilities to meet the challenges of remote and online learning, from our learning management systems to our mental health program. These systemic changes we are making throughout the whole UP system all aim to transform UP into a university of the future. Of course, we cannot do this without the cooperation, partnership, and support of the UP community, especially you, our alumni. Marahil, nag-iisip na po kayo kung ano pa ang maaari ninyong iambag. Salamat at salamat pang muli. Subalit para sa ngayon, damhin muna natin ang saya ng pagsasama-sama natin, maski pa ito ay virtual lamang. Humugot ng inspirasyon mula sa isa't isa at magbalik tanaw sa mga aral at tagumpay sa nakaraan. Salamat sa pamunuan ng UP Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles sa isang nag-uumapaw at makasaysayang taon ng paglilingkod. Salamat sa maaasahan at yumayabong na hanay ng mga UP alumni Mula Kern hanggang Orange County, manatili na wa kayong ligtas upang patuloy na makatulong sa kapwa, sa universidad, sa bayan, sa daigdig at sa sari-sarili ninyong mga pamilya. Maligaya pong pagdiriwang ng gabi ng parangal sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. The final award for tonight is the Lifetime Distinguished Achievement Award. The Lifetime Distinguished Award is bestowed upon an alumna or alumnus who has retired from the service in the public or private sector and has rendered an illustrious and meritorious service and achieved distinction in his or her area of endeavor. The awardee is an outstanding citizen who has led an exemplary life. Born and raised in Malabon Metro, Manila, our Lifetime Distinguished Awardee not only graduated as his high school class valedictorian, but also a recipient of the prestigious Jerry Rojas Leadership Award. He entered UP Diliman as a public health major, then switched to biology, and finally to business administration and accountancy, 
where he graduated as cum laude. He earned his master's degree in finance in the University of Southern California. With honor, integrity, and excellence, he worked his way up to a successful career, starting as a staff auditor to senior accountant and beyond. In 1990, he joined the Department of Water Power in the city of Los Angeles, where he just recently retired as the chief accounting employee. This UP alumnus is the first Asian and the first Filipino-American in the 109-year history of the largest municipal utility in the United States to occupy this top financial post. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 Yupagla Lifetime Distinguished Achievement Award recipient is Mario C. Ignacio. Hello, my name is Mario Ignacio and I would like to thank the UP Alumni Association of Greater Los Angeles and its leadership for bestowing me this wonderful recognition. Special thanks goes to its amazing president, Ms. Ethel Rubio, whom I've known for a couple of years now, and of course, Ms. Monette Carenceja for the nomination. After 30 years working for the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, the nation's largest municipal utility, serving its 4 million LA residents, I decided to retire three weeks ago, which may be the reason why I got this Lifetime Award category. Although it made me feel old, nothing is more rewarding than to be recognized by other UP alumni, and I would gladly accept a Lifetime Award anytime. That being said, my journey does not stop here. I'm hoping to continue living my dreams and reinvent myself even in retirement. I came to this country three decades ago as a Filipino immigrant, equipped only with the most prestigious college education he could get from his birth country and a few hundred dollars in his pocket. Looking back, I have come very far and a long way from my very humble beginnings. I believe that the Mayupi education is not in short of world class that has afforded me and my family the opportunity for a better and brighter future. I would like to thank my friends, co-workers, municipal industry colleagues for their support through the years. I would also like to thank my parents, may they rest in peace, other family members, and those that came before them. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of these giants, to borrow a quote from Sir Isaac Newton. Despite the comings and goings on in my life, but professional and personal, I've never lost sight of my true north, my family. I'm incredibly grateful for their unconditional love and unflinching support through the years. There were several firsts in my professional career and those carry a lot of responsibilities. As the wise mother of the current vice president said, you may be first to do so many things but make sure you're not the last. It is my sincere hope that my experience will provide a path for others with similar backgrounds to follow. Thank you, God bless, and congratulations to all the other UP alumni awardees. As we conclude our program, we in Yupagla would like to thank all of you for joining us tonight. Congratulations to all our awardees. Thank you to our special guest speakers and performers who have made this night truly memorable. We want to acknowledge and express our deep gratitude to our fellow UP alumni and friends who have made this wonderful presentation a reality. Lastly, the success of this awards night was made possible by the generous support of our donors and sponsors. Sa inyong lahat, maraming maraming salamat po. You.